Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to the most known unknown fighting games. It's your boy Grampy back. We're here to talk about the most known and unknown fighting games out there and we're looking for the best and the worst. Now we're going to be talking about today's subject we're going to be talking about is one of my favorite companies back in the day when I was growing up and that's Sunsoft. For a lot of people out there, they don't know who Sunsoft is, but you grew up in the Nintendo era. You uh, During the late uh, 80s into the early 90s, you at least played one of their games. I'm talking about Blaster Master Classic, Batman and Journey to Solace. Some great games for the Nintendo that a lot of people played, especially yours truly. But during the 1994s to the 1998s, these guys are like, yo, let's make some fighting games. And they end up making four fighting games. One for the Super Nintendo, two for, uh, two for the Neo Geo, and one for the Sega Saturn. But the one that is down in this picture came out in November 1996. And this bad boy is called Waku Waku 7. Classic game in my eyes, but let's talk about the game. Man, oh man, Waku Waku 7, I couldn't wait to talk about this bad boy. This is their third game from Sunsoft. This bad boy came out in 1996 and it survived for so long. This game is on Neo Geo, the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Sega Saturn, and the Xbox One. I'm talking about a lifespan from 1996 to 2019. Oh my goodness, some of y'all weren't even born. So I played this game on the uh, Neo Geo NVS system and the Sega Saturn and the PC, Xbox, PlayStation Store. Now I love this game because I love how the animation is. Now I know this roster is not that big and not that deep like we get nowadays, but I think that they made the roster small, which made them allow them to really work on the game. I mean, you got clean animations, beautiful characters, awesome stages that have, you know, it has a morning, noon and night parts of the stage and a lot of fun uh, mechanics in the game that allowed them to do this while they were uh, keeping the roster small. So you can dash forward, dash back, do a wake up attack. You can hit a person on the ground. If someone kicks you across the room, you can tech that or tech jump in. It's up to you depending on your character. Not every character can um, wall jump either. So that's, that's something to keep in mind who you play and where you want to be at when you're fighting. Um, this game has a system that is all about go get it, get it done type of stuff. You know, fight, jump back in, keeping the pace going. Now, one thing that you, if you did not realize this on this game is that the uh, the uh, power up bar is automatically filling up. So that allows you to really throw a lot more attacks and get in there. Now, if you are sucking, you can do the Haru Haru attack. Now, as you can tell right there, sorry for all the flashing, it is a unblockable death destruction attack. If it hits you, it has a chance of killing you. I love how it looks. I love the, the, this, the presentation of it, but it's a very powerful move and they're not all equal. Some are great, some are slow, some are fast. There are special grabs. They are, everyone has special grabs. Everyone has unique abilities and they all have a unique play style. Now, one thing you probably didn't realize is that a lot of these characters have this ability. All the characters have this ability called special. Uh, special. Think of it like a, a tech punch. So if someone throwing an attack at you, you can do your special and stop it. That means if someone's throwing a combination special at you, you can do the special and stop it. And I think that's really cool. You know, there's so many things I see in this game that I see in modern video games that just got implemented in modern video games. It's been done since the 1996. I love it. Now, there's two characters we're going to talk about. The bonus stage character, who I think is the funniest character. I wish Capcom would put this character, no joke, in Street Fighter VI. Punching Bag Ryu, that's what I call it. I know it's a uh, bonus cone, but I think that this character is being there. Because if you think about 1996, everybody was like, Ryu is a, a punching bag, you know. And then you got the final boss in this game, who is frustrated if you saw what i put in the youtube community i was like what's the most frustrating you boss you fought in a long time this was him uh this boss will got a command grab that goes across the screen it will use special it can dang near just you can't stop it once it's going you have to legit use the cheese to beat this boss it has a parry that will stop you from attacking it has a command grab that will kiss your butt suck you in and fart you out 
uh, it will parry it will parry as much as it can it has so many attacks that will just one shot you if this character goes into super mode it is two hits you're dead and it's ridiculous and he can auto stun you with one move now once you get through all that nonsense and you're done licking your wounds you get these beautiful any sequence um, I like how they look you know it really it, it really makes the game feel like its own you know you get to see the Inuyasha looking characters, the Ryu's, the Kins, the Terry Bogart looking characters. These are all, it's like a big parody of a fight game. And you get to see the animation and the, the jokes and the music. It's just all awesome. Now, like I said, there's several versions of this game. And we're going to talk about the Sega Saturn. And guess what? It's Japan only. But this is not the best version. But this version has a lot of things going on. Now, one thing that drove me kind of insane when I was playing it, I did not realize until I watched the video, it's about four minutes and 25 seconds of loading screens. And I get it, you know, over the 90s, you know, you can't get around it, but this game had a actual versus mode. No other version has a version of uh, versus mode. That means you can play the special characters, pick the power, handicaps, what stage, how many stock, you can watch player versus player, uh, player versus computer, and watch it. Uh, watch mode CPU versus CPU and then the other caveat to have this version is that the cutscenes at the end are fully voice acted so this whole scene right here is all voice acted which I think is really awesome you get to hear the voices of the character you know and see who uh, you know it adds more to their personality when you hear the Japanese voice actor now let's talk about the Xbox PlayStation switch versions now these are published by hamster corporation they were really pushing out a lot of neo geo games on the acac or aca uh, neo geo this you get the japanese version english version you get the uh, caravan mode which you get five minutes to see what score you can pull off and it'll go to the board and then you also get the high scoring mode which doesn't have no timer you just go in there and just do what you gotta do you pretty much speed run in and get as much points as you can you also get a cool little manual so you don't have to whip out your phone or get on your computer or your laptop to see how you do some of the moves they're all right there they talk about the game talk about the options and they talk about waku waku 7 and i really like this game sometimes we forget that the gems they don't we don't find the gems the gems find us you know what i'm saying i was just trying to speed run a fighting game right and i picked this game up i bought it for like $4.99 on the Microsoft Gaming Store and I have never looked back. I love this game and I think it's an awesome game. I love the mechanics of the game and it may not be for everybody, but I love playing rushdown style and this game is catered to rushdown style play. Now we gotta get onto this bad boy right here and I have to slap it on the B. I wanted to put it in A. I really did. I was like, this is an A plus game. But you know what? Sometimes there's some other games out there that just might stomp this game out. Now, all these things have room to move, but you know, I'm gonna put it at B to be, uh, not, by, uh, not to be so biased, but I do love the animation. I do love how the game runs. I love the combinations. I love everything about it. I love how if, you know, you got these super powerful attacks and heaven to be if you if you pull it off in a versus game, but everything about this game, even the, the cheesy pop music is awesome. It all goes together. Now, with that being said, this is the most known unknown fighting games, and I'm your boy, Grampy, back. Now, first off, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the last video, y'all came through on the realest. I have never seen anything like that. Y'all really touched your boy's heart right here, and that's why I'm making this episode. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to get one out every Friday because they show me so much love. So thank you to all the subscriptions. Thank you to all the likes. Thank you to all the comments. But... If you like this video, please hit that like, share, and subscribe. And let's keep keep this going. We're trying to get to 500, and we're trying to keep this bad boy going. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Take care of yourself. Have a great weekend. And like always, don't let me be the, uh, the arbiter of truth. Go out there and play these games. Try these games out, and you might like them yourself. I might not like it, but you might love it. So go over there, and you find out what you like. Take care of yourself. Peace.